Welcome to Weekend Weavers, a kids craft series brought to you by the Tomball Public Library. My name is Miss Kelly and today I will be showing you how to weave in the loom we created in the last video. To follow along today, you will need yarn, a pair of scissors, and the loom we created in the last video. The first step is to cut a piece of yarn from your supply. Remember, this is the warp and this will be the weft. You'll take your weft string and you'll weave it under, over, under, and over and under, and over and under. This is the pattern that you'll be doing throughout the whole loom. When I get to the end of the warp strings, I make sure to pull it so there's just a little tail left of the first line, and I push it down. Since we're at the end of our row here, you'll see that we're over the end and we'll go turn the string around and then go under, just above it like this. And then we'll continue on with our pattern, so over, under, And when you pull on your weft string here, you have to pull gently. I like to hold the end of the weft string so I don't pull too hard and cause the warp strings to buckle in. It's important that you keep a nice, even tension on your strings. Then I'll continue the pattern going back around the other side. Here you'll see that I insert a ruler underneath my warp strings. This is a good way to get a little bit of space in between your warp strings and your loom in case you need a little bit more room to work with while you're weaving. When you start nearing the end of your weft string and you need to add more yarn, cut some yarn off of your supply and attach it by tying a knot. I use a double knot, but you can use whatever kind of knot you know how to tie. Make sure it doesn't move when you pull on it, and then you can trim the bunny ears of your knot. Continue weaving until you reach the guideline at the top of your loom. When you reach the guideline at the top of your loom, it's time to remove your weaving. Note where your weft strings are. You'll have one at the top and one at the bottom. Then you'll flip your loom over and either remove the lines you taped down or cut the line that you tied in the back. Now I'm gonna tie the end of my weft strings to my warp strings. To do that, I figured out which warp string was closest to the end of my weft strings, and then I cut that one on the back. This will be one of the warp strings on the end of your loom. Then I tied two knots. The first knot was kind of a looser knot, and then the second knot was a tighter knot to secure the first knot. Then I went to the other loose weft string and secured it to the warp in the same way. After cutting the warp string, I tied two knots, a loose knot and then a tighter knot, and I left the tails attached for now. Then I flipped my loom over to the back and looked for one of the warp strings I had already cut to secure my weft. Much like securing your weft, you'll tie two knots with two warp strings, a loose knot and then a tight knot. Secure the loose warp strings first, and then as you run out of loose strings, cut warp strings to continue on. Work slowly and focus on one knot at a time. Once you finish cutting all of your warp strings and tying all of your knots, your weaving is basically finished. All that's left to do is to trim the ends of your warp strings. I like to use them as a decorative fringe on my weaving projects. Make sure not to cut too close to your knots or else your knots might come undone. When you're done weaving and your project looks a little something like this, congratulations, you have finished your weaving project. Now you have a piece of art and a loom you can reuse again and again for future projects. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Weekend Weavers, brought to you by the Tomball Public Library.